Managing hazardous chemicals is about as tricky as it sounds. Our job at ChemStores is simple. We have to make sure each chemical is housed safely and does not interact with any other chemicals. We want to make sure it gets transported safely and is available to use anytime, anywhere on campus. What's not so simple is all the elements involved in doing that job. Brigham Young University brings hazardous chemicals on campus for research and development purposes. We bring in about 50 to 100 chemicals every day. This includes things like teaching labs to perform reactions to help illustrate what they are learning in class. We have professors that are making, for example, antibiotics and therefore need the building blocks to do so. All of these things that are being built require different inputs. About two years ago, ChemStores was made responsible to track hazardous chemicals on campus. The process of tracking, maintaining, utilizing, and disposing of chemicals is pretty complex. It involves a lot of people. When ChemStores was first tasked with this responsibility, things didn't always run smoothly and weren't always 100% accurate. Beyond the many people involved, we had multiple locations, multiple databases, which led to confusion with chemical inventory practices. And campus audits were conducted by hand, meaning a student would have to go through a vault or storage room and handle each container one by one, increasing the risk of exposure to hazardous material. In order to be compliant with government regulations, it is required that we do two full inspections around the campus on all chemicals throughout the year. That simply wasn't possible with the way things were being done, so we had to find a game-changing solution. The first solution we reviewed was to simply hire more students to get the work done faster, but realized that would only increase student exposure to hazardous chemicals and increase costs four to five times. After some extensive research, an RFID solution was investigated, approved, and implemented through collaboration efforts with the Office of Information Technology here at BYU. RFID, or radio frequency identification, uses electromagnetic fields to identify and track tags attached to objects. The benefit of RFID implementation meant greatly reduced exposure to hazardous chemicals, vastly increasing student and faculty safety, less disruption of chemical research. All inventory is now stored in one system and is always up to date. We can now conduct two full audits each year and the time to complete each audit has been reduced from one to two days to just five to 10 minutes. We now have more accurate and timely inventory reporting and enhanced query capabilities for governing bodies. So there's never a question about where any chemical is located or who is using it. And the remarkable thing is, we project the RFID implementation will pay for itself within two to three years. It's real exciting to be on the front end of this incredible technology. We are one of the first to use this on chemical containers. RFID tags tend to be ineffective when placed flat on metal containers or when used on liquid bottles. But we were able to find these RFID flag tags that stick off of the chemical bottle that allows for us to use this RFID technology without it being interfered by the chemical or chemical bottle. What I love about this project is we first focused on what the solution needed to look like. Then we brought technology in to make it a reality. A key success factor to this project was collaborating together with OIT and the ChemStore staff to find the proper blend of people, processes, and systems and revamping those to make them work synergistically as we moved forward. It's exciting to think about the different possibilities of how we can use this technology across campus, and it wouldn't have been possible without our partners at the BYU Office of Information Technology.